Yeah. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the room. This is Ida Blevins here today. We're broadcasting from Samcast. You guys can talk. You don't have to be. Yeah. Please talk. (laughs) (laughs) And what we're doing, we're actually decorating flags for Johnny and Johnny and Friends family retreat. Linda, you could probably come over here and do a better job explaining all that than I could. Um, But the camera's stuck right here. (laughs) Anyway. What we do with these flags is, uh, as, as the campers come into camp, uh, the families are welcomed with a welcoming flag. And a lot of, oftentimes, people with affected by disabilities find themselves socially uh, excluded to things. So to be welcomed and celebrated by flying these flags and waving these flags and clapping and, and just uh, making people, as they cross the threshold to the camp, feel welcome, you can actually feel I always say you could feel the love that uh, as people cross into the threshold at Johnny and Friends Camp. And we at Uniquely the Same think, well, if you can do that for one week out of the year, make, make a person with disability and their family feel like th- it's their week, why couldn't we do that 52 weeks a year? So uh, anyway, that's, that's how I got involved with this whole process. And uh, we have several people here today working on uh, painting these flags. Linda, how many flags do we have to do? 36. I'm turning the camera on you, girlfriend. Oh, oh, 36. And each flag will be personalized for the families that are coming to be celebrated. And so um, their names will be put on it, and they'll have that as their souvenir to take home with them. And so from the moment they come, they're celebrated and celebrated throughout the week. And it starts, and... Uh, some of them love it so much they they come to tears over being welcomed because many times they're rejected. So, so it's an important step, and I appreciate everyone that came to help us. So, um, how many years have you been going to Johnny and Friends Camp, Linda? Since Anna Marie was four. Oh my goodness. Anna Marie. Wait a minute, I'm going to turn the camera. Oh, I'm going to find Anna Marie. There you are. So we've been doing this since you were four years old. Yep. And is it, I, I think I understand, Anna Marie, that, that lots, to, lots of times during camp, it's, it, you actually celebrate your birthday at camp. Hi. <laughs> yes, I celebrate my birthday at camp. I've been doing that for a while, probably like five years. And what makes you want to go? Why do you enjoy Johnny and Friends Camp so much, family retreats? Um, I don't know why I enjoy it, but I like, I just like meeting all the people and seeing all their joy, and it's fun for me. <laughs> what do you do there? Johnny and Friends? Yeah. I'm assigned to help a camper uh, throughout the week who has some sort of a disability, and we have fun with them throughout the week. That's what I do. I have fun with somebody. <laughs> so, I always like to tell people, last year was my first camp, and you made me feel so comfortable at Camp Anna Marie. I was so scared. I didn't know what to expect. I just <laughs> was afraid I wouldn't be good enough. I wouldn't, I would get put in a situation where I would totally freeze and wouldn't be helpful. and. Um, when they were trying to sort out who who your camper would be, who would be assigned to uh, a particular short-term missionary, that's what the volunteers are called, uh, they prayed over it. and they So I was assured that uh, I would be put in the right place at the right time, but I was still panic-stricken. And when we first, the first night of camp last year, we had a tornado warning. We had to evacuate the lot, the, the cabins. So on top of being scared of that, I was totally petrified about the tornado warning. And Anna Marie took the time to write me a happy gram, and that's something we do at camp for each other and for the campers is happy grams. And I have that happy gram. I'm going to save that happy gram the rest of my life. <laughs> you made me feel so good with just those few simple words, like, okay, it's going to be okay. Anna Marie says it's going to be okay. <laughs> she's helping out the old lady. <laughs> it was lots of fun. And today she's here painting flags. She was sure she couldn't do it. She said she's not very artistic, but she's doing a beautiful job. Where's your flag, Anna Marie? I'm going to show you. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> okay, so here's here's some of the flags. <laughs> We're all painting. This year's theme is Mount Everest, and and uh, the Bible verses with God, all things are possible. So we've got lots of people here working. Hi, Mary Lou. Hi, Say hi Mary. to the world. <laughs> Wearing my t-shirt from last uh, year's joint. Let's see who's here. Kyle, thanks for being here. It, you're so supportive. We really appreciate you being here. Kathy, hi. This is Kathy Wilder. She says that she met Anna Marie at her very first camp in 2008. Thanks for your likes and your retweets. Cloud reaction, you came back. We didn't frighten you away. <laughs> Thanks for coming back and visiting our room. We really do appreciate it. So, yes. Happy Graham J. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing how just in maybe it can't, not just at camp, but in life, if you take a moment and tell people how you, how you are, are made happy by them or take a moment and uh, give them your attention and make them feel better, we all, we all benefit from that. And Kathy spent many hours. Thank you, Beauty Bubble, for liking Kathy and retweeting. <laughs> Kathy spent many hours passing out those happy grams and organizing. Uh, yes, and she is, she plays a big function at camps with the ha with uh, distributing and making sure the happy grams get to the right camper and the right STM at the right time. So she does a lot of she does a lot of work for Johnny and Friends family retreats, and she does a lot of work for Uniquely the Same. She's a great partner. So. Uh, I'm going to hand this over to somebody who knows what they're doing. Actually, can I tell an Anna Marie story too? Yeah. For my first time? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll video you up. You're on. Okay. Well, my first time, like Ida was saying about how unnerved you are when you're waiting to see what, you know, your assignment is going to be. And uh, they tell us that um, when we have those two or three hours in the afternoon, that we would highly advise that we take a nap <laughs> during that time. <laughs> And those of us who thought, oh, well, I'm a grown-up, I don't need a nap. Well, the, uh, the experienced teenager in my cabin who went right to sleep, <laughs> that was a good example to the rest of us because she knew what was coming and, and how uh, exhausting it was going to be. But it's a good kind of exhaustion, so it's a lot of fun. And, um, and I guess just also teaching us how important it is to observe curfews and things like that. So um, it's just really great, and I've always... Even though one time I was a little concerned about my assignment, in the long run, I understood how really the spirit guides the leaders to make those assignments. Sometimes when we first get them, we don't get it, <laughs> and uh, and it's always just been it's been as much of a blessing for me. I'm, I'm sure as to anybody else. So I really enjoy it. I will be back. Kathy says she's going for a nap. She's going for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I'm going to go missing my nap today. <laughs> Hi, Beauty Bubble. Thanks for coming. Come to the room. I'll give out when Ida was inter introducing earlier. But so we're Sam Cast um, here on Meerkat. Uh, we have a heart for individuals affected by disability. We're trying to demystify disability on Meerkat just by keeping it part of the conversation. And so one of the things we're showing right now is uh, we do this. Uh, we do summer camp with an organization called Johnny and Friends. J O N I. If you wanted to look it up on the internet, it's J O N I and A N D friends. It's plural. Johnnyandfriends.org, and uh, they have a number of different things that they do. Um, Johnny Erickson Tata, you might have heard of. She's a um, she's quadriplegic. She had a diving accident when she's 17 years old, and uh, she's in her 60s now. I've forgotten exactly how old she is, but. Uh, so she's one of the longest surviving folks um, with uh, who's, uh, who uh, is quadriplegic. Uh, she's one of the longest surviving people in the world. Uh, but anyway, she is an international figure. There's a movie made about her called Johnny, J-O-N-I, in the 70s. Her story is that um, she went on the Today Show before disability was like something that we talked about in the marketplace. And... Um, uh, Beauty says she knows the story of Johnny. So, um, but she went on the Today Show, and uh, um, and they had she got such an overwhelming response from male. It was it was when people were institutionalized, and not, not many people were talking about disability at all. So, uh, that's when she created this organization, Johnny and Friends. That's where the and Friends part came, because there were so many people that could relate to her story. And uh, so she's become an international figure. She served on um, 
uh, let me think how far back it goes. I'm not really sure, actually, whose council she was on. I know she's on Obama's uh, Council for Disability now. She she's been part of the world. Yeah. She's been part of the world uh, movement, basically, on disability and disability rights. So she's she's one of the who's who's. But anyway, we do camps along with them, uh, and so what's going on here is we're making flags. And Ida probably already explained this, but I'll say it my, uh, uh, I'll tell you, tell you my angle at it. So um, what happens is the campers are all coming, and they take a huge risk, because a lot of folks with disabilities get by on, um, on routine. It's one of the most significant things in their lives, particularly folks like on the spectrum. Uh, they, they need routine. Or even people with intellectual challenges, they want to have, like, you know, today's Tuesday, this is what I do on Tuesdays, and this is the order in which I do it. And um, so families that come to these camps, particularly for the first time, are taking a huge risk to show up. And, and often even uh, there's a number of people who at the last minute cancel because they're too afraid of the risk. And uh, I've known a lot of families that we've invited that you, you, you just can't get them to take the risk. Even though almost everybody who comes to the camp, once, once they've gone once, then they come back every year. They count the days. Um, yeah, and so like we have people in our network who literally right now are telling, I could call them and they would tell me exactly how many days until camp. But um, uh, so, so, so one of the things that Johnny and Friends does to, to welcome folks is we do these flags. And uh, so we're producing the flags. The theme is Mount Everest this year. And so we're making flags. Uh, these, these volunteers are here making flags with mountains and tents. And that's, the, that's sort of the theme, is this uh, sort of Mount Everest camping, hiking theme. And, uh, but when they come down the driveway, all the volunteers from the camp, so there's, you know, there's like 150 volunteers <laughs> Um, are all lining the driveway and they're with these flags and what will be added though is we're just doing the base flags but the the name of the family will be added to each one of these flags so and the person who's holding the flag with the name on it is the volunteer who's been assigned to be with that family so um, so when they come down the, the driveway, they, this is actually how they, they're met. Now, if um, there, there are signals that we have if somebody wants a quiet welcome. Some people are uncomfortable with noise. But for a lot of the folks, give them this just rousing welcome here. And you have to realize how countercultural that is for somebody with a disability. When they show up at a camp, and people aren't just tolerating them, right? People aren't just including them. Um, people aren't even just welcoming them. What they're doing is they're celebrating the presence of them as a family and as an individual. And I just have to tell you, that is really one of the most powerful things that happens at camp because it's so different from what they get when they go to the Walmart, from the stairs that they get in public when they're at McDonald's or when they, when they attend a church or, where, or wherever they go. I mean, even the m most well-meaning people have a tendency. We were with Rob uh, Oshevsky yesterday at the zoo. And, you know, there, there were people, he observed people um, staring at him. Uh, and uh, so it's just, it's this sense that people have in which they're, they're really not. And the, and the truth is, we're not real comfortable with people who are different. And so we, even though we have ADA and all that kind of stuff, we, we sometimes give people a signal that we'd rather they're not hanging out uh, in public, that it'd be better if they just stay at home. So this is a really different kind of situation. So, so that's what these, uh, and we're, uh, we're just, we're, we're just trying to, we're just trying to make a difference um, for some families. And, and you know, amazingly enough, none of the families care that we're not artists. Um, they care about the heart of the people who made the flags, and they feel welcomed as a result of it. it um, it's okay that it's not a, uh, a Picasso, although actually some of these look a lot like a Picasso. Um, so these are. So I told you that we're building sort of this mountain scene on each flag, and then the name would go on it, on top of it. So, um, so people get this this rousing welcome, and and it really is. 
it, it really demonstrates acceptance. I, I was often think of this one family that came into the camp. And we had it all decorated. Um, we had it all decorated. There's one that's more fully done. I just got, uh, and these guys are like blending paint. I mean, these this is this is high end artwork. I'm telling you. I mean, you're not going to see this kind of level of work from Meg or the graphic artists on Meerkat or any of the uh, any of the other channels oh, on Meerkat. This is this is. A, I mean, I saw somebody doing pastels last night on Meerkat, and th you know, look at Ida. This is not those really? pastels were nothing compared to. <laughs> Isn't this? <laughs> It's Demo Love, so, though, so that's yeah. what counts. So anyway, so um, anyway, I wanted to tell you the story of um, the, the one family that came. We had um, decorated, and we decorate the stage. There's like this gathering area. There's about 300 people that come to the camp. And so we have a seating area where 300 people can hang out. And we had it all decorated in the theme. So things hanging from the ceiling and on the wall and all sorts of stuff like that. And this family came up to me, and they said, who's this for? And I said, well, what do you mean? It's for you. We, we, we decorated this for you. And they said, yeah, but, I, but who was it for? I know it, I know it was actually decorated for somebody else, and you just had it left over for us. And, and we said, no, no, you don't understand. We came up here two days early so that we could decorate this because we were anxious. We were excited about you coming. This is wholly, completely for you, no one else. And... The look on that parent's face at that moment, um, I, it, it was, and, and basically they said, no one has ever done something like that for me before. Um, so it's just, it, it, it's funny. Like we, we like to think of ourselves as open and we try to be. I understand that people try to be as, as open and, and willing to, to uh, and accessible, you know, to people. But the truth is that just sometimes our our signals are not are not quite that. So anyway, so that's my uh, that that's my speech about what we're doing. So this is really it, it, it's shocking to it'd be shocking to you to come. Yet you really have to see it. But it's amazing. And I think Ida said this. Literally, people will drive through the line where people are <laughs> are doing it, and then they'll drive back out the driveway <laughs> so that they can experience it again. And, and it's one of the highlights of the kids. And the funny thing is there are some kids that are bothered or, or adults that are bothered by the noise. And um, in that case, we do the, um, like a sign language uh, clapping, which is, you know, when you, when you do this with your hands. Um, and so we'll do that kind of a welcome for people who need a quieter kind of setting. And, and some people who need a medium one, we'll do a medium one. So we have this uh, stoplight, red, yellow, or green, depending on how vivacious but the green light you know people go crazy they're jumping up and down and just having a great time and it's all decorated in colors so if you go as an stm i promise you will never be the same yeah so an stm it stands for a short-term missionary those are the people that are uh helping out running the thing so um it's a uh, the other thing that's interesting about it is it's right here in the united states actually they are all around the world but we do tw more than 20 of them right here in the united states and um, you don't have to get vaccinated or anything like that, and you just uh, you just go and help out for a week. So they're all. If you go to johnnyandfriends.org, beauty, um, you'll you'll see a whole list of them. There are 20 of them. The two that we're going to be a part of are um, one is the. Uh, it's actually just a couple weeks away now, right? A week yeah. and a half, uh, June. I'd have to get I'd have to get my calendar out, and it's on my phone, so I can't. It's June 21st, I think, and and then, oh, no, that's July 21st is when is is our trip. Uh, 22nd. So the, so June 22nd and July 22nd, and the retreats that we're going to are in Ohio. They're in Shawnee State Park in Ohio. They actually take over the entire state park. They shut down the pool and everything else um, there. It's a, and it's it is a beautiful setting. Um, and so you just see people of all different types of disabilities. It's not, it's not for just, you know, intellectual challenges or physical challenges. It's all sorts of different people there with different perspectives. So that's what we're getting ready for, just doing some painting of these. And I guess we're doing, how many, how many of these flags are? 36. 36 of them. And, and so that is one, there'll be 36 um, people at families families at one retreat. This isn't a respite retreat. Thanks, Kathy, for the date. She says, it's July 27th to 30th. 
I don't think that's. That is the second one. Yeah. That's the second one? Yeah. I just told the family down the hall a different date. Because it's on my birthday. It ends on my birthday. Hmm. So I need to tell the family down the hall a different date. But it, so June, it's uh, the 20, whatever. It goes from Sunday to Friday, something around the 22nd. So beauty says repeat the date. So I probably did after you typed that. But let me just say it again. So June twenty uh, second or whatever the Sunday is until Friday of that week, and we'll tweet it. We'll tweet it later. Um, beauty, we'll make sure we communicate it to you. Um, and then the second one is in July, and Kathy's sure that those are the dates, twenty seventh to thirtieth, and Anne Marie con uh, confirmed it. So. Uh, so thanks, Kathy. I would have gotten it wrong. Um, so that's um, that's basically what we're doing. We're SAMcast, so we have a heart for folks affected by disability. We're doing different things like this. And really, we're just trying to film the content of people who have a heart for disability. And so this is just a group of people that are here working on it. Sounds like Beauty got it. So Beauty, if you go to johnnyandfriends.org, J-O-N-I-A-N-D-F-R-I-E-N-D-S, Dot org, johnnyandfriends.org. Then they have a menu of, uh, I, think they, I think it's titled Ministries. And if you look at their stuff, one of those is, is uh, family retreats. And you can see the whole list of family retreats worldwide. So Beauty says she's going to put some tweets together because Beauty tweets yeah. all through the day. So. Thank you, Beauty. That would be appreciated. We, we would like to get the word out. We could still use a few volunteers, particularly for that second one. Um, so, because uh, we don't want to turn any family away because we don't have enough volunteers. Anna, I'll give you some room. Um, so, thanks. That's, uh, that, that help, your help would be appreciated there. Beauty says, my husband's side of the family is mostly professionally involved. Yeah. The, one of the cool things about this beauty is that the people who come here at, and, and volunteer at this camp, lots of times... There are a number of the volunteers that it's their first experience ever uh, helping someone with disability. And Johnny and Friends is a professional organization. They know what they're doing. And so there's real good experts around. So nobody's ever left on their own. But the cool thing is this is a place where, um, where non-professionals can come. And I think actually one of the keys to it is the people who come to this thing, they actually... They take a week's vacation, and then they um, they pay uh, they they pay to be there. So they take a week's vacation, and they pay their way to attend. Um, uh, so that, so it's not subsidized in any way. That they, they, they and I'm talking about the volunteers now. And as a result, the people that are there really really want to be there. And um, and I think one of the greatest qualifications, and I certainly am not disparaging professionals, uh, so I don't mean that in any sense, but we have, we have as good a success rate of campers um, enjoying the week and staying as any camp that's run by professionals I've ever seen. And I think it's the difference of people who are paying to be there instead of people who are being paid to be there. I think that is some of the key to a Johnny camp. Um, and this isn't a respite camp, it's a camp for... Um, uh, uh, for whole families, so it's a, it's a different sort of thing. Um, so let's see, my side of the family had an important family member that was disabled. Yeah, so that's, uh, so you guys have a heart for it, and you know what, you know what we're about, so. Kathy says, nice tree, Ida. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of my tree. There's a cool oh, this, this isn't going to and I just smooched the tent, so I'm fixing it. Yeah, so thanks, Kathy, for putting the dates out there. Appreciate your keeping me straight on it all. So um, so anyway, so if you could like and retweet, um, we sure are glad to have you uh, stop by and see what's going on. We're, we're trying to keep this kind of content available to the Meerkat community so that people are always aware of... Um, the need for individuals affected by disability. So you can see some of the flags that we've created so far. And like I said, names will get added to all those. So I've sort of shut the conversation down in the room, so I'm going to close this out so that people can talk. And feel, I guess they feel awkward talking on the, to the entire world. 
Let's see who's here. Michael is here. Where are you from? Where's everybody from that's here? Music Cats is here. Cloud Reaction. Cla Cloud Reaction, where are you from? You were in earlier. I, I, don't, I, I can actually see you this time. The uh, Bricks in the Wall, the Pink Floyd Tribute Band is here. Lydia's here. Lee is here. Hi, Lee. Well, um, Jermaine is here. So would they get like an alert or something when you guys are um, Yeah, if they're following us, they get an alert. Beauty, That's Bitcoin, like, glad to have you here. There's just like a, Diana, a thanks for coming by. And, uh, watch what you're Appreciate any of your likes and retweets. Diana, too, thanks for coming by. Mariana, thanks for being here. Glad to have you. Mar Margo, we have, appreciate seeing you. Uh, Zibnek, thanks for being here. Frank, Zibnek, where are you from? Appreciate you being here. Bobby, thanks for being here. PD, glad to have you in the room. Uh, wow, there's lots of people here, aren't there? I'm not even going to get through. AZ. Uh, AZ5, thanks for hanging out. H.W. Uh, H. Johnson, appreciate you being here. Fly France, glad to see you. Rebel, appreciate you stopping by. Let me live from the inside out, says Rebel. Zenus, thanks for coming by. Kathy. David, glad to have you all hanging out here. So, um, so unless anybody has any other questions, I'm going to... You close out. You keep your love and concern for the this important mission. Yeah, we're not giving up. Uniquely the same is in this for the long run. We're building. We're we're planning to build villages. So Cloud says they're from Lagrange in Georgia. Um. So yeah, thanks for thanks for coming by. Yeah, people like it uh, when we're painting. I know people like the artwork. So I'm going to leave it on you for a little bit. Actually, I'll do it facing so you can see if there's any. We can have the light shed on these flags as they fly in joy. <laughs> Running low on paint now. <laughs> We're being more creative with our colors than we, <laughs> than we were originally because now we're running out of colors. So, uh, but you know what? I, I think just using your imagination. Everybody's like Patrick's school. See the mountain? Paint the mountain. However you see it. Bryce, what's that guy's name that says those pretty little trees? Barbara. Barbara. Happy little trees. It's my happy little house. I think so. Definitely done the job. And I think that's all the families, right? I think I'll sit down and still bending over like that. It's taking a toll on my back. Whoops. So yeah, so, yeah um, the the theme for our camp this year is Mount Everest, and uh, it's with with God, all things are possible. So I'm sure we're gonna have some fun uh, Mount Everest theme kind of activities at camp. One of the at camp we do along with the typical camp things like uh, we gave motorcycle rides to people affected by disability. We had a little hay rack rides. Uh, campfires, those kind of things, swimming, things that you typically do at camp. Uh, on, on one evening, there's a talent show, which is mind blowing the talent that, that these campers have. And then there's a dance. There's another night that we have a dance, and oh my goodness, what fun that is. Um, I can't, I've never been to camp. Well, I haven't been to camp since I was a kid. You know, I went to church camp as a child, but uh, really, this. I don't know. I came. I came away from this camp a totally changed person, and I think that happens to just about everybody who volunteers their time and energy to these kind of uh, camps. So, <laughs> yeah. So you do. You walk away changed. And uh, I know when I went my first time, which was last year, I thought, well, I'm going to go to this camp and I'm going to do what I can to help. And um, I felt like I would, you know, that that was what was in my head. And um, 
when I came away from the camp, I came away knowing that I was blessed more than anything I could have yes. done to bless anybody. Ditto. Ditto. Yeah, that's what, Ditto. that's what people Ditto. in the room were saying that, that have been to camp, uh, too. It, you, it, there's no words to explain how, how enriched your life is by knowing these new friends. So anyway, I, if you get a chance to look into it or, or would like to be a volunteer at camp or, or be one of the campers and families that come, uh, it's just Johnny and Friends Family Retreat. So we'd love to see you there. See, the dance is exhausting. I was beat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was exhausted too because those kids can dance all night long and I was not going to be out danced by any kids. So I was going to dance all night long too. Oh, let me see what kind of... I had to get up and check the comments because I was—I can't see the comments rolling in from this angle. But um, you know, I'll just be quiet, I guess, and keep, keep painting. Because uh, uh, no, I don't. Linda Clark has organized this. She's done lots right. of work in this, all There's organized, getting the, the stuff together. We had a, a lovely woman here at church who sewed all of these flags for us, so we could get the paint on them. Uh, Kathy says I was sorting happy grams for hours. Um, and I really <laughs> yeah, well, isn't it nice to do those happy grams? It, it takes you a couple minutes to write a, a kind thing, and then you touch the lives of somebody, and it makes a difference. And as I said, the ones that I got, I'll keep forever, and especially you know the one my first night there that I was scared to death, <laughs> uh, and got great advice, you know, hang in there, it's going to be okay, you're going to make it through this and you're going to walk away enriched, and she's absolutely right, that's exactly what happened. Is it okay if I use the brown? Does anybody else have things on there yet? I was trying to get this. I can't see who say hi, but somebody said hi to me, and I got a heart, too. Oh, hi, hi, Gabby, how are you? Nice to see you. Yep, I think it's like 1,500 go through, yeah. It, that's a lot of happy grams. <laughs> So setting aside the time to do it, and for those of us who are short-term missionaries, Mary, Mary Lou was talking about taking the opportunity to take a nap, but you can like put your feet up, get out your pen, get out your happy grams and write notes to everybody. It's kind of fun. Thanks for retweeting and liking us. I really do appreciate it. It helps us. We're trying to get the word out and dispel some of the myths associated with people affected by disability and maybe get rid of some of the ignorance out there. I know I was ignorant and uh, even though I have family members affected by disability and very dear friends uh, who are affected by disability. Still, you know, lots of ignorance out there. <laughs> there was tapping on the table. I think I need to get to work. No, no, I want the I don't know how to make this tent look like a tent. My tent no longer looks like a tent. Mary Lou had it all outlined really nicely, and then I stuck my finger in it and smooshed it. So I, I tried to paint over it, and now I've made it worse. Aha! <laughs> outline it in black when all those fails. Okay, that's what I'm going to do then. Let's see if I can get it. That kind of works. You're right. Larry from OVR. I also can do it better with my tongue sticking out. I, I do watch the artists here on Meerkat, and I'm so amazed by their talent. And it's a little intimidating, but I'm going to make this tent look like a tent if it's the last thing I do. Good enough. Okay. I think I need some other color here in my mountain. My mountain kind of looks dead. Let's see. It takes me a couple weeks. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. I didn't sleep well the first night. I'm like, oh, come on. I keep waking up too early. Good job. Thanks, Kathy. You're my best cheerleader, Kathy. Thank you. Good job, she says. Anna Marie's smiling. She won't come over here in the camera. Come over here, Anna Marie. Say a few words to the, to the camera. <laughs> Yeah, we're still on. <laughs> we don't turn it off. We, there's lots of people in there. Let's see, there's 18 people here now, and 94 people have popped in and out. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll just keep going. And then they won't let you go. It's like, yeah, it's hard right now. That's what's great about color ID. I'm sure Mount Everest is not muddy, but it kind of, mine kind of looks a little muddy. Yeah, I know where it is. 
There we go. Do I need to mix more green? Do we have any more? How many more flies do we have to go, Linda? I think there's quite a few. We don't have many flies, but I think we have one, two, two trees left. And there's a little green. Over there's green there. Oh, okay, we'll make it. Because okay. I can mix some more. Okay. Let's see. Where's the white? Yeah, because I need a little more detail. I was wondering how it was going to be. Yeah. Trying to make my snow capped mountain look like snow capped mountain. So, what do you think you'll do after snow capped mountain? Okay. Um, I've been told I work better one on one than a group, so I can do. Um, so, as Cal said, if you're new to the room, for, you know, we're broadcasting uh, through SAMCAST underscore UTS. SAMCAST. There's a bunch of us that broadcast under that, that name. Some of the teachers do that already. They've got their foot in the board. Cal Clark. Uh, broadcast. I think he's going to be broadcasting daily this week. Uh, Frank will be broadcasting tonight at 11 o'clock. He does uh, Big Frank's Bada Boom Room. He talks about WWE and mixed martial arts. Um, Rob Olszewski, who was with us at the zoo yesterday. We had a great day at the zoo yesterday broadcasting. Uh, he broadcasts on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 o'clock. I broadcast on Fridays at 3.30. And if you come, I would really appreciate it if you come to support me. I'm new to this and just learning and uh, enjoying it once I get started. As you can tell, I don't show up once I get started talking. engrossed in our work here. Um, yeah. My, I said my carpal tunnel has now, it's officially in full blast. I can't, I can't grab another thing. Ah, I'm going to make some more green. Oh, is it? you said two to one? Yeah. Two mediums to one pink. So we have lots of people coming in and out as we uh, broadcast our flag painting experience. Yeah, your email, I'll be in the way. We'll hear him singing soon. So, oh, no, where did where'd you get food? Yeah. That's not nice so being in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll go get my, finish my job. <laughs> There's a, oh yeah. I think we have 14 more flags to do. How many more flags? <laughs> this is it? This is my last flag? <gasps> Hallelujah. Okay. Oh, well, then I'm done. He had an idea. Hey, Anna Marie, would you throw me some blue? Thank you. There's not much of it. I just need like two drops. I'm going to round out my mountains and call it a day. Can you try to find something? <laughs> Any of those? One of those. <laughs> I just need a couple. Wow. You want blue on the mountain? <laughs> There's a critic in every crowd. Yes, I want to have blue in my mountain because I think that, you know, it shows the reflection of the sun off the snow covered mountain. And the sky gives it definition. Thank you. Gives it definition. My mother always told me not to wear blue with brown. <laughs> I don't believe that. So I know your mother. And she she loves color. Right? She's an artist. She might have We could use her help here today. So yeah, there's my mountains. I'm done. And done and done. What you looking for, kiddo? The green. The green. I'm gonna let you take the game. I'm gonna get up now. Yeah, I'll pretend I drew this. Just today. Uh, <laughs> you pretend you did this? Yeah. 
Oh, look at this, it goes through. Good thing your wife put those drop claws down. Kathy, anybody else here? I know. How about right under the sunscreen? If anybody's here, give me a thumbs up for us. I don't want to start a color for you. Yeah, Kathy, I appreciate you answering the questions. Mary Lou, I'm coming underneath you with my flag. I'm just trying to determine if we've told everybody about what's going on or if that's. I said I to tell them a little bit. We should draw it to a close. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do it in the skirt. Yeah. Do I need to get it from the other side, or did you get it? Yeah. I don't really, I don't really take much stock in the numbers, in the meerkat numbers. I, um, there's so many ghosts and things like that that I'm not really, I don't pay much attention to those numbers. Um, commenters, I care a lot about apps. But like right now, you know, it's showing there's 18 people here. But I don't think there's 18 people, but there could be people watching on the internet that we don't, you know, that they, they can't talk. Um, so. Okay. Yeah, so I'll walk around and show the last few flags and So, um, so this is sort of the last time walking around to sort of show you what we're doing. These are that we're making. We're, they're welcoming flags for a camp that we do for families affected by disability. So each of these flags will have a name written across it, a family name. So when they come to visit the camp, um, we welcome them with these flags. And then the volunteer who's going to, or the volunteers, it could be a group of people, who are going to spend the week with the uh, family. Um, they're the ones holding the flag, so that's how we first join up, and we make a big, you know, a big uh, deal over the people that are coming. We try to celebrate them. Um, so we're just making these different. There's 36 families that are going to come, so that's what. These are all just. Have you ever seen meerkat? So th we're we're live streaming right now. Okay. But this is um, what's unique about meerkat is this down here is a Twitter feed. Um, and so these are people who are in the room that are tweeting um, about about it as we talk. Okay. And these are the people up here. Okay. And um, so they can interact with me. Um, so see, Kathy said, show another flash at the flags. Okay. And so it's a way, so basically you're live streaming, but then there's a chat sort okay. of on top of it so you can communicate both ways. They're working on technology where I could actually like bring one of them in as a cameo oh, okay. and they'd be able to talk in the corner um, to the whole room. But, um, and then I can, I can sort of see all these individuals. There's Michael and Kangaroo and, and Lydia. So anyway, they're, they're, it's a new type of application that just came out in February and March. Okay. One's called Periscope. This one's called Meerkat. And uh, some people are saying it's sort of the next. <laughs> like there's like, you know, Jimmy Fallon's on here. There's a lot of backstage kind of things going on. There's um, Paul McCartney um, was on Meerkat. Uh, U2 has been given concerts over the last couple of weeks. And it, but, it's, but, but because, uh, see right here. Ga this is Gabby going for greatness. She says, hi, Cal. And uh, hi, Gabby. So Gabby and I have met before here. Gabby, uh, I'm introducing this to Dave. Say hello to Dave. Can I put you on? So, so hi. Um, Michael Bolton was on yesterday, says Kathy. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Um, so, so basically, I can, uh, I can come. So I could tap on Gabby. I could follow her. I can reply to her. You know, um, and that's so I'm tweeting basically right there. I can choose to tweet it, or I can choose just to leave it in this uh, in this uh, stream without the tweet. Um, 
So it's a pretty neat, from an interactive standpoint. Um, so you know how you were streaming for a while. Um, uh, I've streamed the last two weeks on this, and we had 423 the, service you the first week. Yeah, I set this camera up front actually in the front row because okay. it's my cell phone, so that it, yeah. it would see nothing from the back. Yeah, and you can't control the. You pick up um, the audio pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, uh, so anyway, so Samcast is one of uniquely the same activities. So what we're doing is we have a channel. We're treating it sort of like a, t a television station, and we share this ID. There's a bunch of us. There's people with disabilities, people without, and we all come on at different times. So tonight at 11 o'clock, this is for you guys. Tonight at 11 o'clock is Frank. And he's going to do a show, WWE and, and Mixed Martial Arts. And uh, the fun thing about Frank is, uh, not one of the fun things, but this is the interesting thing, I think, about him. Not only is he an expert on WWE and Mixed Martial Arts, but he's also blind. And so he can tell you about what it's like to watch um, the sports um, when, you're, when you're blind. So he has a show at 11 o'clock at night um, for the sports fans. And uh, anyway, so we have different casters going on at different times. And uh, so we just brought it in here. And see, so while we've, while we've been in here, 113 people stopped by. There's 20 people right now. And then on the Internet, they can't count. Some people can just watch the stream without being logged in. So there could be more people watching. But, uh, so see there, Gabby says, hey, Dave. <laughs> he must be a Michael Bolton fan. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, Kathy, did you see Michael Bolton? I haven't caught any of those, Vic, or any of those folks. There was a weatherman that was on today that I thought was pretty interesting. So here's Anna Marie's flag she's making. She's uh, obviously an expert. She's better than my talent. And, uh, and so here they all are. Blue flags, green flags, red flags. We have a volunteer who made all these. Sherry um, actually sewed all these, you know, did the hemming and all that kind of stuff. And she made them these different colors because at the uh, at the base camp, like at Mount Everest, you would um, see all these colored flags. So that's where she got the idea. Um, there's 36 of them that we made because there's 36 families coming to the camp. Yeah, I've been to weddings where there. So. So anyway, you've uh, you've now seen them. Thank you so much for retweeting. These are our these are our welcome flags, Maria, for the for the upcoming Johnny and Friends camp. So we're just painting them. You can see Anna Marie here painting hers. This is the dress lady, Anna Marie. There's Anna Marie. <laughs> A little bigger than the than the girl you were making dresses for a few years ago. Not much. Yeah, they're they're sort of fun. They're all every one of them is unique. So she says hi, Anna Marie. They're, they're on like a 15 second delay. So all right. So you came just in time for me to close out. I was just about ready to quit. We're we're just wrapping up here, getting the getting the uh, all the flags. They're pretty much ready. Um, so Linda's been leading the leading the charge on them. So anyway, we'll talk to you next time. Uh, stop by at eleven o'clock tonight if you can, because uh, I know you're interested in WWE and mixed martial arts. <laughs>